Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back. This is very shortly after yesterday. Yep, um, it's one of the it, few times that we're actually recording an episode a week in advance. Because uh, we realise we're not going to have time. Christmas Christmas is coming up and, uh, you know, stuff happens around Christmas for some reason. Yeah. Um, even I'm, Crazy Man who vehemently opposes it what? ends up doing stuff. Well, I, I've got to have time to prepare all the heat-seeking missiles to the roof and other such like um <laughs> yes anyway we are going to put in the this square storage the idea being um anyone who dies without a bed yep. is gonna respawn on this little island here and they may not have anything with them so they're going to be able to run over here um grab the stuff that they're prepared <laughs> in advance yep so just There'll just some armor and there food so and sword fall. and a bow and arrow and stuff like that for uh, like recovery yeah. armor and generally yeah. if people are passing well people through, can put yeah people can put whatever they want in yeah. it really if you've got but junk that's in your the idea like crazy man yeah and you can be bothered to sort it out unlike crazy man <laughs> So no one. Well, like the other day, I used my um, chest over there for um, uh, uh, just storing an item that I didn't want to lose whilst I was messing around in the Nether. Mm. It was a Fortune three pick. So, yeah. General storage. I think I'm. Uh, we're also going to move these chests here over to this new new ring because there's all this yes. random sort of joint material. Uh, so that kind of needs a better home. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Yes, indeed. That is indeed the plan for the, for the day, and hopefully that that thing over there is looking worse than it than it should be, because hopefully <laughs> something will be done between now and when this video is released. If Jake hasn't released a video that. about this ship in two weeks, then uh, that's that's his fault. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So one thing that has happened between yesterday when we recorded episode four and today when we recorded episode five. This is episode six. Is this a different day? Yeah, it's a different day. One thing that did happen is that I went off and found a Mesa biome, which you've probably Hooray. seen if you watch my solo episodes. Um, yes, indeed. So um, basically, I've got a, a nether line, just a, a path in the nether ceiling leading over to it. And Crazy Man and I were thinking it would be quite nice uh, to give you viewers the opportunity... Competition time! <laughs> to... Um, design a track that can go from the from the um hub here the nether to um to the mesa biome so just just a nice repeating pattern um potentially using clay you know we've got lots of it now and uh yeah just something, something nice that you think would look cool uh any theme you like and if you want to if you want to send it to us or send us screenshots or a video on how to build it we'd be very happy to check that out uh, it'd be really cool to include some of you people's is designs in our world i think so yeah he speaks so good he's no librian like me i'm not a librian but i do what i can look if you're gonna do that as well at least start on the other end to me i was doing that <laughs> God, <librians. laughs> oh. oh look see this is what happens when we leave it to you you mess it up Great. Sorry. Uh, so this contest, what can people win from this contest? As you've decided to call it a contest, implying that there is some sort of reward. No, no. Contest doesn't imply there is a reward. Contest implies that there are other people to contest against. It implies there's some sort of way of winning, though. Yes, and... by being picked above everyone else. <laughs> So to answer your question, the reward is to have your design featured in the ALP world and maybe your name on a plaque or a sign or something, if you're lucky. <laughs> a plaque of the highest quality plywood <laughs> and sticks. Just whatever we can find lying around. Yes. And, you know, if we're feeling extra um, generous, we'll actually uh, we'll let you choose any sign in this world and we'll take that sign down, scrub it off and... Scrub the ink off, kill another squid, and uh, paint your name on it in big smeared letters. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. Highest quality recycled sign. 
Of course, yeah. Hooray. So this is the bit where we realise that neither of us can remember how this looks. Yes, indeed. And we're out of we're out of conversation topics because nothing's happened <laughs> because it's only been about twenty, in fact, less than that, about mm, seventeen hours since our last recording session. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Half this episode may be us chopping wood. Actually, there, there's something to ask. What are you hoping for for Christmas this year, Sparks? Fun, exciting things? Well, crazy man, <laughs> I haven't thought about this at all. Um, <laughs> Neither have I! Hooray! <laughs> Your pig has come over to have a look at us. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> that pig has made its way all over here. I uh, want to name him like the Curious Pig. Do we have a saddle? <laughs> Curious George. There are saddles in the chest here. Yeah, there's two. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna have a communal saddle. I don't think I brought enough cobble to make all the furnaces that we need. Um, There he is. Yeah. Go bigger! <laughs> right, uh, where's the grainy to go? Um, Here. I almost pushed the pig off. Um, I nearly fell down. Yeah. Look at that! <laughs> if you put two more rows of furnaces and then the... <gasps> the pig is an easy way of getting back up from the water! Never mind. <laughs> I knocked him in. <laughs> I didn't mean Great. to. Great. I'm sorry, piggy. And then the die goes. The last or the last grey goes here. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of furnaces and cobble. <laughs> um. There's no rod here. Oh, Jake, I'm borrowing your fishing rod. I'm sorry if you <laughs> care, but just... I. Our I need to save our buddy. Things. Our just this is stealing things from our fellow <laughs> server mates. Well, this is why we really got the server going, is so we could just steal. So we didn't things. have to do all the resource gathering ourselves. Um. Okay, it looks like I'm actually one furnace short. That's it. So if I, I can go find seven cobble. I've just had a much better idea, Jake. I'm sorry. I've just wasted some durability on your fishing rod. I'm going to get a lead and lead him over. What a great idea. It's Crazy Man and Piggy again. I will save you, Pig. I will save you. Where have you gone, Pig? There you are. This slime farm is actually producing, like, a, a nice amount of slime balls. And it just I wish you could runs make quietly down slime. here while, while we're doing stuff. Nobody's caught fire from the lava yet. That we're aware it's of. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> that that nobody's caught fire yet. That's a, that's willing to admit it. Come on, pig. Come on. Come with me, piggy. Here we go. Okay, good. He's still on full health. He's he's on the workbenches, but he can make his way over if he ever needs to. He's a smart one, that pig. He's resourceful. Yeah. He'll, he'll and now he's got through. a saddle. No one will think that he's not he's not a, a real person. We definitely need lighting over here. It's dark. Uh, do we have any joint communal glow? Nope, we don't. not even in the brewing section. It's all been used. I'm going to go and get some. Oh, I may even get a name tag um, and name the pig. We never did the back. <sighs> okay. Um. God, now we've got to think on camera. We're not designed to do this. Oh no, I fell in the water. Let me slowly swim over to the ladder, not buying me any time to think. 
Did you name the pig, by the way? No, I didn't. I forgot to grab my name tag. Well, now I, I've had an idea. I'm going to make this a little bit... Bit, 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 a little more accessible. Broader. Broad walk. Broad walk. And while that looks weird, it's kind of in a bit more of a natural curve of how people walk. This is a bit of a sharp curve, though. Not really. <laughs> well, we see we seem obsessed with having holes in our floor. <laughs> We don't want people to be able to get to stuff easily. Fools. No. It, it it matches the UHC mentality that if you don't pay close attention, you will fall. Excellent. That's another additional thing added to our hub thing. Hooray. Now we just need to, like... Move all the crap. Move all the crap. Yep. Uh, and sort of work out what should go in each chest, that kind of thing. Um, well, this is I guess... for individual people to decide what they want. Yeah. Um, and then, I guess, it's just a couple of things. Wood can be one. Plants. Um, bone meal. We have a lot of bone meal. Potions, maybe. Arrows. It might be handy to have, like, an arrows chest. We can move them over from the skeleton farm. Um, that's Jake's There's chest. a main tag here. What, in oh, Jake's, Jake's chest? chest. <laughs> that's the thing, with Jake's chest there, I just, I always think that's stuff that he doesn't want. Uh, I'm going I'm I'm to put move... an eviction notice. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all these, all the woods over, then I'm going to put all my stuff in the chest where the wood was, then I'm going to move all of Jake's stuff into his new area. No, I, I, I it's going to be easier to put an eviction notice. <laughs> By easier, do you mean funnier? Yes. Yes, I, I do. <laughs> I'm tempted. I wish we could fit a fit Jake's wolf in one of these slots and just put a sign in front of it saying "wolves." <laughs> <laughs> we tried that before. It didn't work. Remember? Oh yeah, we tried last season in our monument. And that monument time we had completion. complete control over everything. Yeah. I've just moved all the woods over from earlier where we were doing wood stuff I'm worried that I'm going to accidentally hit Jake or his dog and it's going to attack me and I'm going to have to kill it yeah that's my biggest worry because I don't want to die that dog attacks I, me I'm, I, I'm killing I, I, I it don't to, die. to not have a first death right we now we now have um, lots of burn meal but no arrows really <laughs> Uh, tools and weapons would be a good last chest, maybe. Yeah, okay. I don't think we really have any tools and weapons. <laughs> that are we did. We did. Uh, flint and steel, and I've got used. some shears. I've got some shears I can donate. Mm. Very good. I can donate I'm keeping shears. The wrong flesh. Okay. Uh, do you want to name those last two chests? Do you have signs? Mm hmm. Good. I have a sign. Do we want to go have a look at the Mesa just for the end to end the episode? Sure. I haven't seen it. So, yeah, we thought we'd just finish off this episode by heading over to the Mesa so that you guys can have a look at it because they're pretty rare. And um, I don't know. We want to see if we can find a Mesa Bryce, maybe. You know, have a quick look around, see if we happen to spot one. Because I haven't had a really good look at it, and Crazy Man hasn't seen it yet. Mm. Well, look at this. Yeah, we should call him Parkour Pig. <laughs> Some glass. We need a name. If you can come up with a name for this wandering pig, go for it. Competition yeah. number two. The winner will yep. get to be the namer of the pig. In this texture pack, the nether what looks like two gecko hands like grasping at each other I think you are becoming more crazy than I I do like this water block as well <laughs> it's a cool place to hang out 
Hopefully no one ever updates it. Although if, if they do, I don't think any damage will really be done. There's nothing to be washed away here. Unless... Oh, look, the, look at the pig. He's trying to be like us. <laughs> trying to jump on the lupus blocks. Oh, damn. Ow, ow. Need to sort that out, you bang your head all the time. Yeah. Mesa! This is a desert. <laughs> this guy is a desert. I don't know I don't know what you're on about. This is a desert completely. He'll oh, realise in a second. <laughs> there we go. No, I I, <laughs> I, I did realise. I, I I did see it, but it's just I thought it was funny that you're like, ta da and <laughs> it's just staring at this. Oh no, the, the portals didn't link up properly after all. <laughs> So oh, I see trees. Really dirty trees that you get in mesas. This is a mesa plateau, yeah. It's not really loaded for me. There we go. And then I think... The oh, wow. It keeps trees. going this way. M mesa plateau F. <laughs> right. It joins up with oh, the desert got, over uh, this side. Yeah. And it seems to be kind of quite in the ocean, actually, this one. Well, should we wrap the episode up? We've had. Yeah, let, let's wrap the episode a little up. Look. It's been nice to have a look at this place. But we can say you can save it for your episode. Um, yeah. I didn't really find it. I I feel like I'm just. <laughs> you're just, to be you're here just visiting for someone else's house. Yeah. Is that how it feels? Don't know where they keep things. <laughs> it's like they say, oh, could you put the spoons away? It's like, yeah, sure. Where'd you keep the spoons? Just in the drawer. Turn <laughs> around to see a whole wall full of drawers. Yeah. Uh, the middle one. Oh, wow. Uh, um, what, do, what do viewers think about us building a village style thing in the Mesa? Just, I just don't know. comment below with, or do you not want to do that? I don't know personally. I think it might be quite a nice place to build one. It seems rather far out though. Oh, that's that is kind of true. And uh, maybe once we got this, rail, this it's... Just... anyway, we should probably actually say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, this is why I was wanting to end the episode. Yeah. All right. Well, then we go on to the spoon conversation, time. and ah, uh, bye. <laughs>